For the CH2S Lewis structure, let's first count up the valence electrons. Carbon has four, hydrogen has one. We have two hydrogens, so we'll multiply that by two plus sulfur. That has six for a total of 12 valence electrons for the CH2S Lewis structure. So we'll put the carbon there in the center, and then we'll put the hydrogen on one side here, and let's put the S right here above. So we have 12 total valence electrons. First, we're gonna put pairs of electrons between atoms to form our chemical bonds. Now that we've done that, we have six more valence electrons. Let's take and put those around the sulfur, complete the octet on the atoms on the outside. Hydrogens, they only need two valence electrons. They're okay, but we'll put valence electrons around that sulfur. So it turns out we've used all 12 valence electrons. Sulfur has an octet, the hydrogens are okay, but that carbon only has six valence electrons. So that's not gonna work. What we can do though, is we can share two of the valence electrons around the sulfur with the carbon to form a double bond. And that'll look like this. So at this point, the sulfur, it still has eight valence electrons. Its octet is complete, but the carbon, it also has eight valence electrons. So that double bond there, that's the key to writing the Lewis structure for CH2S. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.